Hello YouTube brothers and sisters. I'm just going to read chapter 17 of John. It's a prayer that Jesus prayed to God about us. <clears throat> chapter 17 of John. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and he said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may also glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known all, that all things are whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those who thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, above those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, that these things I speak in the world, they, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for the, thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and I will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Amen. That's Jesus praying to the Father on our behalf. It's a very good prayer, and it's a really nice thing to read, and it's a good thing to read.
because like I've said many times he's here to protect us that's what he says he would and Jesus Christ is asking the Heavenly Father God Almighty I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil because they are not of the world even as I am not of the world he'll protect us he'll love us but as John chapter 17 beautiful verse it's all written all, well, other than the very very beginning it's red letters it's it's a prayer from Jesus to God for us and there's many things in there that says we are saved because of the word that they shared and that they shared and that they shared with the next people that shared with the next people that eventually shared with us so that we can share with the next people so they can share with the next people so that more and more and more people can get this free gift of grace by believing on this man Jesus Christ the Son of God now God sitting as the Lamb in the temple of God on the new earth for all eternity Amen. Alright, I love y'all.